Good day, family, and all praises to the Most High Creator. Proverbs 1, 23. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. I read that again. Turn you, who? Us. At my reproof, the reproof of the Most High, behold, he will pour out his spirit unto us. He will make known his words unto us. Where is words? Jeremiah 25, 13. And I will bring upon that land all my words, which I have pronounced against it, even all that is written in this book, which Jeremiah hath prophesied against all the nations. So the Most High is telling us right here that he is giving us our spirit, or giving us his spirit. And how? By making his words known to us. Jeremiah 25, 13. The Most High is giving us his words in this book in which Jeremiah hath prophesied against all the nations. That is only in one book, the Old Testament. That is not in the New Testament. That is not in the Koran. That is not in the Book of Mormon. The only book that the Most High tells us that he gave us his words are in the Old Testament. Jeremiah 23, 16, 22. Thus saith the Most High of hosts, Hearken not unto the words of the prophets that prophesy unto you. They lead you unto vanity. So the Most High is telling us not to listen to these people prophesying unto us. They lead us unto vanity. How do they lead us into vanity? Because they are using words from other books that do not have the Most High's words in them. How do they lead us into vanity? Christianity. I'll use that as an example. You pick up that book, then you can be as vain as you want. And all you have to do is go to church on Sunday and ask for forgiveness, and that's it. Repeat. They speak a vision of their own heart, and not out of the mouth of the Most High. For this one, I'll use the black Native Americans. Okay, they speak a vision of their own heart, and not out of the mouth of the Most High. Why is he saying that? Because they are saying that they are the lost ten tribes of Israel, and they are getting that out of a book that does, that does not have the words of the Most High in it. That is why he says, and not out of the mouth of the Most High. They're not getting that from the Old Testament, where the Most High's words are. They say continually unto them that despise me. Who despises the Most High? Us. What do they say? The L-O-R-D hath said, you shall have peace, or ye shall have peace. If you accept cheese and rice as your Lord and Savior, then you will have peace. Okay, We know that's a lie. And unto every one that walketh in stubbornness of his own heart, they say, no evil shall come upon you. Okay. Who are these people that are walking in the stubbornness of their own heart? Okay, The Most High tells us that we are going to be sent away on ships to a land that neither our fathers knew or us, and we will be surrounded by the enemy. Okay, So, these Europeans that are walking around with stubbornness in their own hearts, okay, they were here when we got here. That makes them the enemy. Okay? The Native Americans, when we got here on ships, where were they? They were already here. That makes them the enemy. 
okay? The Most High is not talking about the stubbornness in their heart. The black Native Americans that say they never came here on ships, they were here when we got here. They are the enemy. The Most High is not talking about them. Mexicans, when we got here, they were here. The Most High isn't talking about them. He's talking about you and only you. Sorry about the rant. And they say, oh, hold on. Okay, and they say, no evil shall come upon you. If you accept cheese and rice into your heart, which is in the New Testament, then no evil shall come upon you. You will be protected. We know that's a lie. And by you even asking to have JC come into you, that's evil right there. For who hath stood in the counsel of the Most High, that he should perceive and hear his word? Obviously not these people preaching out of these other books, because if they heard the Most High's word, they wouldn't be doing it. Who hath attended to his word and heard it? Obviously, not these people out here preaching all these things that go directly against the Most High and go directly against the Old Testament. They obviously have not heard his word. Behold, a storm of the Most High is gone forth in fury. Yea, a whirling storm, it shall whirl upon the head of the wicked. The anger of the Most High shall not return until he have executed until he hath performed the purpose of his heart. Do you know what the purpose of the Most High's heart is? It's all in the Old Testament. You know where you're not going to find it? The New Testament, the Quran, the Nag Mahadi, the Book of Mormon. You will not find the purposes of the Most High's heart in those books. In the end of days, ye shall consider it perfectly. Do you see? Thus saith the Most High, I have not sent these prophets, yet they ran. Look at YouTube, with all these prophets preaching all these things that go against the Old Testament. Okay? I have not spoken to them, yet they prophesied. How do we see this? Because they're prophesying things out of books that the Most High that the Most High's word is not in. But if they have stood in my counsel, then let them cause my people to hear my words and turn them from their evil way and from the evil of their doings. This is pretty deep. Then let them cause my people to hear my words tells us, excuse me, family. I'll start that over. Then let them cause my people to hear my words. That right there tells me that these prophets that he didn't send are not us. If they were us, then this would read, then let them cause their brethren or their people to hear my words. It doesn't say that. It separates them and us. Then let them, false prophets that the Most High did not send, that are preaching out of all these different books, then let them cause my people, we're not them, they're not us, to hear my words. And how are these prophets that the Most High didn't send, that are preaching out of all these other books, how are they going to turn us from our evil way? By hearing the word of the Most High in the Old Testament and putting down the other books. In turn, we will not put down the word of the Most High and follow their vanities and their evil ways. And how are these false prophets that the Most High didn't send that aren't us, how are they going to stop us from the evil of our doings?
They're going to do that by putting down their other books and preaching only out of the Old Testament, where the Most High's word is. If they don't go to other books, then we won't go to other books and learn their evil ways. A false prophet who has stood in the council of the Most High will cause his people, the Most High's people, to hear his words. The Almighty Creator tells us that his words are in the book that the prophet Jeremiah prophesied in against all the nations. The book of Jeremiah and his prophecies are only in the Old Testament. The Most High didn't say his words were in any other book. Not the New Testament, not the Koran, not the Nag Mahadi, not the Book of Mormon, not the Apocrypha, none of these books. Only the Old Testament. So anyone preaching from any book that isn't the Old Testament, or is preaching something that goes against the Old Test that goes against the Old Testament, is teaching falsely. If their false teachings have been brought to their attention, and they continue to preach out of other books, they are a false prophet, per the Most High. Not by me, but by the Most High's own words in his only book, the Old Testament. He tells us not to listen to these false prophets, to ignore them. Are you going to reject the word of the Most High? Are you going to put down his book to learn from another book that doesn't have his words in it? After he told you that his words were in the Old Testament, are you going to reject the spirit and the words of your Most High Creator? As always, family, fear your Creator and all praises to our Most High Creator, Redeemer, and Savior of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob.